In mathematics, and in particular functional analysis, the tensor product of Hilbert spaces is a way to extend the tensor product construction so that the result of taking a tensor product of two Hilbert spaces is another Hilbert space. Roughly speaking, the tensor product is the metric space completion of the ordinary tensor product. This is an example of a topological tensor product. The tensor product allows Hilbert spaces to be collected into a symmetric monoidal category. Topic: <laughs> Definition. Since Hilbert spaces have inner products, one would like to introduce an inner product and therefore a topology on the tensor product that arise naturally from those of the factors. Let H1 and H2 be two Hilbert spaces with inner products. One. Display style Langle C D O T C D O T Wrangle underscore one. And two. Display style Langle C D O T C D O T Wrangle underscore two. Respectively. Construct the tensor product of H1 and H2 as vector spaces as explained in the article on tensor products. We can turn this vector space tensor product into an inner product space by defining phi 1 phi 2 psi 1 psi 2 equals phi 1 psi 1 1 phi 2 psi 2 2 for all phi 1 psi 1 element of h 1 and phi 2 psi 2 element of h 2 Display style Langle Phi underscore one O times Phi underscore two Psi underscore one O times Psi underscore two Wrangle equals Langle Phi underscore one Psi underscore one Wrangle underscore one Langle Phi underscore two Psi underscore two Wrangle underscore two quad M box for all Phi underscore one Psi underscore one in H underscore one M box and Phi underscore two Psi underscore two in H underscore two and extending by linearity. That this inner product is the natural one is justified by the identification of scalar valued bilinear maps on H one times H two and linear functionals on their vector space tensor product. Finally, take the completion under this inner product. The resulting Hilbert space is the tensor product of H one and H two. Topic: Explicit construction. The tensor product can also be defined without appealing to the metric space completion. If H1 and H2 are two Hilbert spaces, one associates to every simple tensor product x1 x2. Display style x underscore one o times x underscore two. The rank 1 operator from H1 to H2 that maps a given x element of H1 display style x caret asterisk in H underscore 1 caret asterisk as x x x 1 x 2 Display style x caret asterisk mapsto x caret asterisk x underscore one x underscore two. This extends to a linear identification between h one h two. Display style h underscore one o times h underscore two. 
and the space of finite rank operators from H1 to H2. The finite rank operators are embedded in the Hilbert space Hs H1, H2 of Hilbert-Schmidt operators from H1 to H2. The scalar product in Hs H1, H2 is given by T 1 T 2 equals N T 1 E N T two E N Display style Langle T underscore one T underscore two Wrangle equals some underscore N Langle T underscore one E underscore N carrot asterisk T underscore two E underscore N carrot asterisk Wrangle where E N Display style E underscore N carrot asterisk is an arbitrary orthonormal basis of H one. Under the preceding identification, one can define the Hilbertian tensor product of H1 and H2, that is isometrically and linearly isomorphic to Hs H1, H2. Topic universal property The Hilbert tensor product H equals H1 H2 display style H equals H underscore 1 O times H underscore 2 is characterized by the following universal property Caddison and Ringrose 1983, Theorem 2.6.4 There is a weakly Hilbert Schmidt mapping P, H1 times H2 H such that, given any weakly Hilbert Schmidt mapping L, H1 times H2 2k to a Hilbert space k, there is a unique bounded operator T, H k such that L equals T p, a weakly Hilbert Schmidt mapping L, H1 times H2 k is defined as a bilinear map for which a real number d exists, such that I, j equals 1 infinity, L e i, f j, u, 2 d 2, u, 2 display style sum no limits underscore i, j equals 1 Carrot in a t big Langle L E underscore I F underscore J U Wrangle big carrot two L E Q D carrot two U carrot two for all U element of display style in K and one hence all orthonormal basis E one E two of H one and F one F two of H two as with any universal property, this characterizes the tensor product H uniquely, up to isomorphism. The same universal property, with obvious modifications, also applies for the tensor product of any finite number of Hilbert spaces. It is essentially the same universal property shared by all definitions of tensor products, irrespective of the spaces being tensored. This implies that any space with a tensor product is a symmetric monoidal category, and Hilbert spaces are a particular example thereof. Topic: Infinite tensor products. If H n display style H underscore n is a collection of Hilbert spaces and she n display style she underscore n is a collection of unit vectors in these Hilbert spaces, then the incomplete tensor product or Gouchardet tensor product is the L two display style L caret two completion of the set of all finite linear combinations of simple tensor vectors n equals one infinity psi n Display style O times underscore N equals one carrot in a T psi underscore N where all but finitely many of the psi N display style psi underscore N S equal the corresponding she N display style she underscore N Topic: Operator algebras. 
let a i display style math frac o underscore i be the von neumann algebra of bounded operators on h i display style h underscore i for i equals 1 2 display style i equals 1 2 then the von neumann tensor product of the von neumann algebras is the strong completion of the set of all finite linear combinations of simple tensor products a 1 a 2 display style a underscore 1 o times a underscore 2 where a i element of a i display style a underscore i in math frac o underscore i for i equals 1 2 display style i equals 1 2 this is exactly equal to the von neumann algebra of bounded operators of h 1 h 2 display style h underscore 1 o times h underscore 2 unlike for hilbert spaces one may take infinite tensor products of von neumann algebras and for that matter see asterisk algebras of operators without defining reference states this is one advantage of the algebraic method in quantum statistical mechanics topic properties if h 1 display style h underscore 1 and h 2 display style h underscore 2 have orthonormal bases Phi K display style Phi underscore K and psi l display style psi underscore l respectively then phi k psi l display style phi underscore k o times psi underscore l is an orthonormal basis for h 1 h Two display style h underscore one o times h underscore two. In particular, the Hilbert dimension of the tensor product is the product as cardinal numbers of the Hilbert dimensions. Topic: Examples and applications. The following examples show how tensor products arise naturally. Given two measure spaces x display style x and y display style y with measures mu display style mu and nu display style nu respectively one may look at l 2 x times y display style l caret 2 x times y the space of functions on x times y display style x times y that are square integrable with respect to the product measure mu times new display style mu times new if f display style f is a square integrable function on x display style x and g display style g is a square integrable function on Y display style Y 
then we can define a function h display style h on x times y display style x times y by h x y equals f x g y display style h x y equals f x g y the definition of the product measure ensures that all functions of this form are square integrable so this defines a bilinear mapping l 2 x times l 2 y l 2 x times y display style l caret 2 x times l caret 2 y to l caret 2 x times y linear combinations of functions of the form f x g y display style f x g y are also in l 2 x times y display style l caret 2 x times y it turns out that the set of linear combinations is in fact dense in l 2 x times y display style l caret 2 x times y if l 2 x display style l caret 2 x and l 2 y display style l caret 2 y are separable this shows that l 2 x l 2 y display style l caret 2 x o times l caret 2 y is isomorphic to l 2 x times y display style l caret 2 x times y and it also explains why we need to take the completion in the construction of the hilbert space tensor product Similarly, we can show that L two x h display style L caret two x h denoting the space of square integrable functions x h display style x to h is isomorphic to L two x H display style l caret two x o times h. If this space is separable, the isomorphism maps f x phi element of l two x h display style f x o times phi in l caret two x o times h to f x phi element of l 2 x h display style f x phi in l caret 2 x h we can combine this with the previous example and conclude that l 2 x l 2 y display style l caret 2 x o times l caret 2 y and l 2 x times y display style l caret 2 x times y are both isomorphic to l 2 x 
l 2 y display style l caret 2 x l caret 2 y tensor products of hilbert spaces arise often in quantum mechanics if some particle is described by the hilbert space h 1 display style h underscore 1 and another particle is described by h 2 display style h underscore 2 then the system consisting of both particles is described by the tensor product of h 1 display style h underscore 1 and h 2 display style h underscore 2 for example the state space of a quantum harmonic oscillator is l 2 r display style l caret 2 math b r so the state space of two oscillators as l 2 r l 2 r Display style L carrot two Math B R O times L carrot two Math B R which is isomorphic to L two R two Display style L carrot two Math B R carrot two Therefore, the two particle system is described by wave functions of the form Psi X one x two display style psi x underscore one x underscore two. A more intricate example is provided by the Fox spaces, which describe a variable number of particles. <laughs>